The murder of uh, Brian Stidham, uh, a well-known and respected Tucson pediatric ophthalmologist in October of 2004, is the centerpiece of a new book titled Toxic Rage by former Tucson citizen reporter and longtime journalist A.J. Flick. Dr. Stidham was stabbed to death in the foothills as the result of a murder-for-hire plot that stemmed from a colleague's professional jealousy. Dr. Bradley Schwartz, also a pediatric ophthalmologist, and Ronald Bruce Bigger, a hitman, were arrested and convicted for the murder. A.J. Flick is with me in studio now. A.J., good to see you. Nice to see you, Bill. Thank you for having me on. You know, uh, jealousy, of course, is such a horribly, it can be such a horribly powerful emotion. And in this case, it was like jealousy on steroids. Yes. I mean, it just, where, where did all of this go bad with these two doctors? How long were they together and, and when did it all fall apart? Dr. Schwartz uh, hired Dr. Stidham to come to Tucson and take over the pediatric um, eye surgery part of the of Schwartz's uh, medical practice. And, um, and about a year into um, Brian's stay here in Tucson, uh, Dr. Schwartz was um, arrested for um, writing illegal Vicodin pres- prescriptions, and the DEA raided his practice, and um, and his uh, then girlfriend Lourdes Lopez was also arrested and charged with um, filling these Vicodin prescriptions for Dr. Schwartz. He was self-medicating a shoulder injury. Uh huh. And uh, when the DEA came and raided the business, Brian was very shocked and concerned. And uh, as a result, Dr. Schwartz was ordered to rehab, and also he had to work through the um, the, the federal case against him, um, losing his medical privileges. And um, during the time that Dr. Schwartz was away at rehab, uh, Dr. Stidham decided to go off on his own and start his own practice. And that did it, huh? That's what prosecutors say led to this this rage, this toxic rage, that over the next couple of years built and built and built until Dr. Stidham was killed. And what about the the lady involved in all of this? Lourdes Lopez, interesting person, and she's still around town. Yes. I hear she's a paralegal mm-hmm. um, working with one of the tribes. Mm-hmm. Um, she was a former prosecutor. When she met Dr. Schwartz, she was a prosecutor. In the Pima County? Pima County Attorney's Office. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, and so as a result of being charged in federal court, um, County Attorney Barbara Lawal requested that she um, resign. Mm-hmm. She wasn't fired. She resigned. And um, and as a result also of um, of the not the Vicodin case so much as being involved with um, Schwartz and um, not being honest. Uh, she lost her law license. And um, and so, and she's she's a very interesting character because she, she became Schwartz's main accuser. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was kind of surprised when I was looking at the uh, legal cases in preparing this book that um, there's an interesting twist involving Lourdes Lopez in Dr. Schwartz's appeal. Hmm. And um, so so this case, even though it has a lot of twists and turns and it sounds like it's too wild to be true, it, it ha- it's still continuing to amaze me with, with all of the, uh, the, the, the twists and turns that it takes. Uh, how long did it take investigators to put this all together? Was this a, a, a difficult thing or, or were they pretty quick to put this together this case it was about 10 days Mm -hmm. after the murder Um, there was a lot of pressure on the Pima County Sheriff's Department to find the killer and um, someone of Dr. Schwartz's uh, Dr. Stidham's stature right um, high profile individual in the community seemingly no enemies right um uh but you know they just don't get killed every day and there was a lot of pressure um on the Sheriff's Department to find out who did it and um, and they they started getting all of these calls and uh, people coming forward saying that um, Brad Schwartz even even the night of the murder Daphne Stidham 
the um, the victim's wife mm-hmm. said that the only person who had anything against Brian was uh, Dr. Schwartz. Mm. So. We're, we're speaking with A.J. Flick. She is the author of Toxic Rage, A Tale of Murder in Tucson. This is a book that's doing very well. And, of course, you're going to be involved at the uh, Tucson Festival of Books. That's yes. good news. And you've been making a lot of appearances. Uh, the book's doing well on Amazon, it's I assume. doing very well. Yeah. It's uh, enough to be called a bestseller. Wow. So um, the, very uh, cool. the Kindle version is still the number one new release in its category, and I'm just thrilled about that. And what what is the attraction, do you think, just People are just are fascinated by the tale of kind of two doctors, you know, kind of turning or one doctor kind of going crazy with with rage. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and that there were there were so so many people involved <laughs> who um, came and and told prosecutors and testified that uh, Dr. Schwartz kept saying even 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 Brian heard these rumors that Schwartz was going around saying that he was going to have him killed or Oh my goodness. So he's very reputation. vocal about that. Yes. So people heard this and and so you know he goes out and he gets Ronald Bruce bigger. Um I guess he said, "Hey, where can I get a hitman or something?" Yeah. And that's another <laughs> thing is, about it too. If if you had to hire a hitman, yeah. it wouldn't be Bruce Bigger. He was not <laughs> Who a hardened he? criminal. Who was he? Um, he was a fellow from Indiana uh-huh. um, who came out to Arizona kind of, I think, to um, for the weather and also um, to escape his problems back home. And in the phone book under Hitman. No, I mean, <laughs> what the heck? But he had no, no big violent criminal history. Yeah. Um, he usually, his involvement would involve getting beaten up. Uh-huh. And um, so, so to have someone like Bruce Bigger be accused of and especially stabbing someone to death you don't think that if you're going to put a hit on someone you it's usually colder it's a gun um it's stabbing is kind of a personal um yeah uh, rage filled sure and it, and if you're a, a hitman and you're not you're you're not emotionally invested in this in this jealousy it, it's also very odd that 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 he, dr Sidden would be stabbed to death what, where was the scene of the crime specifically? Um, it was at his um, in the parking lot of his medical practice um, on, on First Avenue, just south of River. Mm-hmm. What would you like uh, the reader to take away from the book? And obviously, people are being attracted to it. What would the message be, uh, A.J. Flick? Well, um, I think I think the big message is you, you never know what another human being is going to do. You have all of these unlikely, you have an unlikely victim, unlikely contract killer, unlikely um, uh, instigator, and, um, and you never would have thought that, that these people would have, would have been involved in something so heinous. And um, so I always like to, when I approach, when I approached court stories, and especially this story, is just I, I wanted to get into their heads and, mm-hmm. and just figure out who they were and, and, and what motivated them. And that's what I tried to do with the book. And, and people seem to be responding to that well. Um, I wanted them to get to know these people before we find out what happened to all of them. And you were covering this at the Citizen, right? Yes, I was. Yes. And so, how? When did the Citizen go down? Would you, it's going to be the, ten years next year. I thought it was coming up on, on a, almost the ten year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. A, a black day for our uh, afternoon paper. You guys did such a great job. Uh, yeah, I, I loved Mark working Kimball there. Mark Kimball and the whole mm-hmm. team and. Uh, a lot of the the folks still around town, right? Yes, and yes. You, you in fact, to, one of them is coming together. up after you, Steve Rivera. Steve, right? <laughs> Steve Rivera with his new very popular sports talk show. Yes. He hit a home run right here uh, on KVOI. <laughs> All right, so where can people get the book, Toxic Rage? Um, well, uh, I'm having a book signing on Saturday at okay. Clues Un- Unlimited. Mm-hmm. And a week from Saturday, a book signing at Mostly Books, mm-hmm. um, Antigone Books as well. And um, and if you're not in Tucson, of course, you can go to Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com and buy the Kindle or the print book, and soon we'll have an audio book. Is there a website that might list also information about the book? Yes, you can go to WildBluePress.com. Okay. And you can also go on, um, on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash writer AJ Flick, and I'll, I have all the information about the book, media appearances like this show. Thank you. And, um, and, and also um, 
you know, uh, information about the book. I like to post Perfect. things about it. AJ, thank you so much. Thank you, Bill. 